Hey guys, it's Catherine, and you're watching CU K-Pop today, and long time no see, but I am back, and I'm going to be watching NCTU's Baby Don't Stop, so this is Young and Ten. I have commentary um, for this whole situation, but I'll just save it to the end. I'm extremely excited to see this. Everyone's saying it's super sexual and like, I don't know, just adult, mature, so let's go. Okay. Oh, I like his rings. Love rings. Okay. Yo, Ten is looking fit. The whispering. <laughs> like, it's coming at me so fast that I can't really comprehend what's happening. Oh, I like the instrumental. I love it. Oh my gosh! Ten is looking like the grown man that I have been ready for. And this red and silver combo. Okay, okay, oh my, oh my gosh, 10, put a shirt on. I'm just, I'm seeing too many nipples here. Back to back. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh, they're fucking going. Like, I can't get over this. Right, we are gonna watch that again because I just feel like that zoomed by so fast. I didn't have time to catch my breath. I didn't have time to really like focus on anything. So we're gonna watch it again. Um, I think this is a first for me. I've never had to like rewatch a video, but here we go. Okay, talking a little more through this. I didn't really say anything, but yes. The red and the silver are doing it for me. Hard. Also, like the clothes seem very minimal. But like, they fit. Like it's perfect because you really just want to focus on the boys and not really like their outfits. Although, we'll get to that later. Oh my gosh! And like... The way that both of them move, like they both have their own rhythms and the way that they handle their, you know, their arms and their legs. So they're kind of together, but they're not perfectly in sync, which is like oddly satisfying. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> the instrumental it's really playful like it's not totally serious and like sexy Taeyong, man, Taeyong stands right now. I know they going crazy. He just keeps getting better and better looking. My man is 10 though. Mmm, he's looking good. And just like these locations. Yes, yes, get A. Yes! That move! Like, these locations are so... It's so weird, because they're like... Oh my gosh, yes! They make me think of, like, a step-up movie. Like, with the auditorium and the chairs and... And then you have this cool-ass room with the black and white. Okay, but these outfits... Now I'm talking too much. These outfits make my life though. Like those pants with the the loop and the belt, yes. Oh, you know they were cold out there in that snow. Also, the logo is looking sharp. The red and the white, the red and the black. Okay, that was just a lot. Um, that's why I had to watch it again. That lives up to the hype. Like, I wasn't sure if people were just kind of, you know, freaking out over it because it's Ten and Young or because it was actually good. That was so good. Um, the song, like, you listen to the song just on its own, and that just, like, just the song alone is amazing, and then you watch it with the video, and the video just, like, elevates the song, and vice versa, like, wow. Wow. Like, who came up with that choreography, though? I need to know, because that was genius. It was the perfect balance of, like, just grooving but also you had dance steps you had dance moves in there it was so well balanced and Ten and Young, I feel like are some of the few k-pop idols that can pull off these kinds of choreographies where a lot of it is just grooving like you're just feeling the beat and you're getting into it and you're sinking into it and it's not a you know one two three four one two three four kind of a choreography like there are people out there that are just meant to dance, that are meant to sing, that are meant to, you know, lead people, whatever, be a scientist, be a writer, be, there are people out there that just know what they're supposed to do, they go for it, and they make it, and that is Taeyong and Ten, like, oh my goodness, it makes me so happy to see Ten, and like, he's still with an NCTU member, but also like, he shines on his own as well. And that brings me over to NCT U's boss. So I did a reaction for that. It was not um, a good one in that I did not like the song and I didn't like the video and the whole experience for me was a little disappointing. I know Ten was injured and that's one of the, like the main reasons he couldn't be in the video. But it still kind of irked me that they couldn't just leave NCTU as NCTU without 10. Like, they couldn't think of anything for 10, but instead, they brought two SM rookies into NTCU and, or NCTU, and like, I don't know, like, the, I just feel like that wasn't necessary, and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, I know that 10 is still a part of NCTU, but. SM just has a problem with their foreign employees like they just kind of keep them out of the loop again I know it was an injury thing but 
there have been so many instances where like members of a group of any group have been injured and like they're still in the music videos they're still in the production the song whatever and like they don't try to replace them you know like I know they have these SM rookies on the side that they've got to do something with and that's where I think SM kind of screwed up they're trying too much all at once um, so I think they just need to stick with the NCT U, NCT 127, and NCT Dream because honestly they have, they still have enough SM rookies to make up a whole new group. Like they don't need to keep adding new members to, you know, 127 or to U. Like they don't need to keep doing that and honestly it's just kind of like annoying me now. Um, but I'm glad that NCT U also came out with a song for 10, um, and with 10. But yeah, I just, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling boss. I, did, I was gonna upload the video, but again, I just wasn't feeling the whole thing and I didn't wanna kinda put that vibe out there. Um, it was not a great comeback in my opinion. But anyway, also, I have been in and out of the K-pop world for the last couple months. So maybe I missed something, maybe I didn't catch a headline, I don't know. But what the heck happened to Hansel? Because I just remember like when they added um, Johnny and Johnny and um, Do Young, I think it was Do Young, to NCT 127. Like, I just remember, like, okay, so they're gonna add people, so when are they gonna add Hansel, or when are they gonna, you know, debut him? And they still have not. So, did something happen to him? Like, is he not at SM anymore? Is he... I don't know. Did he quit? Did they kick him out? Is he gonna be a solo artist? Like, what is going on there? Because they've added, like, these babies to NCTU now when they could have added Hansel, another thing that makes me mad. So like, what is happening? Because I love him and I miss him and we don't get to see him at all anymore. So I feel like something happened to him. Um, if you know anything, or if you've been hearing stuff through the grapevine, please tell me, cause I would really like to know. I am so tempted to watch this a third time in this video, but I think I'll spare you all the, I don't know, embarrassing screams and the boringness of it so in the comments below tell me your thoughts and opinions on this video on this song on this duo my opinion fucking amazing fucking great fucking 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 fuck yes i loved it so like this video subscribe follow me on tumblr and twitter those are down below and thanks for watching see you k-pop today and have a good day